off the top at five. Uprooted trees, street flooding, devastation as far as the eye can see. That's the new Puerto Rico. Tonight, assessing the damage the day after a direct hit from Hurricane Maria. Much of Puerto Rico is a disaster zone tonight. Rescuers fanned out across the U.S. Commonwealth, home to 3.4 million people, are trying to save lives there. CBS 4's David Bagnat reports from San Juan. Residents of Puerto Rico waded through the mess Hurricane Maria left behind. Flooding is widespread and electricity is non-existent. 20 minutes from San Juan in Catano, police and volunteers are working to rescue people trapped by Maria's storm surge. They help this man and his dog get out and get to dry land. The mayor is sitting in the passenger seat of his Humvee, talking to people and asking them what the situation is in their home. Across the island, streets that don't look like rivers are covered in power lines. Maria's 155 mile per hour winds crushed what was already a weak power grid. Officials cannot say when it will be restored. Before slamming Puerto Rico, Maria roared across the mountainous island of Dominica. The death toll has climbed to more than 15 and the search for the missing continues. The Dominican Republic saw whipping winds and drenching rain when the storm passed the island today as a category three. Maria is moving toward Turks and Caicos. President Trump has approved a federal disaster declaration for Puerto Rico. How do you feel when you saw the rescue come? Uh, happy. <laughs> Very happy. With so many communities cut off, the full extent of the damage is not yet known. David Begno, CBS News, San Juan, Puerto Rico.